believe as you believe, and allow others the same. Heaven Letter Number 5125 December 6, 2014 Everyone is his or her own authority. You are your own authority. This does not mean that you are an authority over what other people do or say or think. Even as what you perceive may be right on the money for yourself at any given moment, tomorrow you may change your mind, or, if you do not change it, somehow life may change your mind. One day, even about something as little as a dish detergent, you are certain this one is the best of all. In another month, you may declare another detergent is best of all. When we get down to it, who are you to tell others what thoughts of yours they ought to have? When it comes to me, hold back on making absolute statements. Say whatever you like to yourself, to others you don't want to assert yourself so much. If you are certain of something concerning me, it doesn't have to be so important to you that others know the inside story as you do. You are not a hawker. Even if you are absolutely correct, and you may or may not be, it is not for you to declare that your discoveries are essential for everyone else to know and believe in. Your discoveries are your discoveries. No one has to flaunt his expertise. You don't have to assert what you believe as if you have the total answer. You don't have to mount your soapbox. Living your truth is one thing. Refrain from the idea that the last word belongs to you. Even if you know more than anyone else, still, beloveds, you don't know everything. Love is where you are. Love isn't something that you can declare yourself an expert in. And love sometimes expresses itself best by keeping quiet. No one has to adhere to your point of view. Even if you have supreme knowledge, remember that humility ranks high. Humility raises you above the various truths proclaimed in the world. You believe what you believe. Your way of seeing is not something to be force-fed to others. No one has to believe what you believe. No one has to comprehend what you believe. You don't even have to. It is better not to set yourself above another. You may think so. The whole world may think so, yet everyone is entitled to his or her own perception of the world and of me. What do you care so much what someone else knows or does not know? Let everyone be free to receive his own knowledge. Beloveds, be aware that you can take yourself too seriously. You are not the policeman who directs traffic of thought. Let all people's thoughts follow their own course. Fine, let others observe you and want to be like you. Nevertheless, you walk humbly, bareheaded and barefooted. Make no odes to your thoughts. You are not looking for followers. What are you selling? All thoughts are up for grabs, yet, no offense, no one has to listen to you. By and large, what you think and what you say are arbitrary. You may be ardent about what you think and say. This is all well and good. Nevertheless, everyone has the free space to discover for himself. The word preach sometimes has the connotation of fist pounding. It can also be gentle humble speech. By and large, people do not want to be preached to unless they knock on your door and ask. Every man has jurisdiction over himself. He needs to discover for himself. He doesn't have to know all you know. He has to find his own connection to God and truth. Will you kindly have confidence in others as well as in yourself? Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org